the victor, physically and emotionally exhausted after his gruelling efforts, was barely able to lift the trophy. Perhaps... Senna had a really unusual throttle technique that simply doesn't make much sense. <laughs> Online that Senna had this really unusual technique where he would stamp on and off the throttle as he was exiting a corner. So You can clearly hear there that he's on and off the throttle rapidly and actually very, very aggressively. And Senna was a very fast driver and he's... Formula 1 cars in 1986 did indeed have turbos and you can... And yet Senna still continued this blip 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 throttle technique. They came along, and within 10 laps, he would have been a second faster. So how did he do it? On acceleration out of the corner, Senna's unique technique is equally obvious. Whereas I would progressively increase the throttle opening... <laughs> Ayrton would immediately start stabbing at it, pushing to get his foot hard down earlier, and therefore exit faster too. <laughs> Putting both of these together means that with this example he pulls out two tenths of a second through this section alone and that's just one small part of the whole lap. This is Constant radius R, it appeared alive, almost dancing. But the blips were so short and so aggressive that the car. If you look at this throttle tracer I found online, you can see how quick the throttle blips were and how frequent they were. second idea comes from watching his onboard cameras. In some turns, not all, he gives the wheel a little flick as he passes the apex, as if to bend the car around the guardrail. This mid-corner correction also allowed him to approach on a shallower and faster line. Because the car didn't travel a constant radius arc, it appeared alive, almost dancing. <laughs> So with Senna's technique, with the blip on the accelerator, the shifting the grip from the front to the rear, the front to the rear, so the car would be understeering, oversteering, understeering, oversteering, all the way through the mid corner. So
You can compare the style somewhat to modern ABS systems where when you brake and the tyre begins to slide across the surface of the tarmac, the ABS system will actually release the brakes a little bit to regain traction before it then applies the brakes once again. Senna did a style of this kind of system where he actually got on the accelerator until the rears broke traction, then lifted a little bit and then got back on. So we had this kind of blipping along, um, following the limit up as he exited a corner. But the thing... Many great athletes enjoy physical advantages over their rivals, and Senna probably did too. Certainly he was in a class by himself in the rain, which demands extraordinary reflexes and balance. In sixth gear, 170 miles an hour, even on this semi-damp surface here. Down to third gear for the right-hander at McLean's with the stands in front of him. Climbing up toward... <laughs> 